What is Kolga anyway? What does it mean? Since when does it exist? How does the festival work? When did I join? What exactly do I do? This and many other questions come up again and again in relation to our festival. I will try to answer this and other questions here, of course, from my personal point of view. First of all, briefly about the name. Kolka is an umbrella, a photo umbrella, a photo contest since the early 2000s, which became festival since 2012. Kolga is now a big family, partly international, scattered in Georgia, Western and Eastern Europe, also partly across the ocean. Once a year in early May, we meet for a week in Tbilisi, capital of Georgia, to celebrate photography, many facets of photography, from a portage to documentary, from conceptual to snapshots. There is a lot going on. The authors are partly well-known international figures, dead and living, but also students and new talents. How do we choose them? Differently, through contacts, recommendations, applications, another criterion besides interesting and professional, the chemistry between us must be right, the arrangements must work and it must not to be too expensive. Because Kolga is a photo festival with a very small budget. For the most part, it is financed by Ministry of Culture in Georgia. For the other part, by private sponsors. But since photography in Georgia is not yet on a par with other art forms, it is not easy to find sponsors for photography projects. We all work on a voluntary basis, but as a, not a hobby, it's a serious work, now an integral part of our lives. Let me now introduce a part of our Kolga team. The man with the hat, Beso Khaindrava, Kolga's founder, a man of few words. He loves reportage photography, preferably black and white. The woman with the red crutch, Tina Shellhorn, the most experienced curator, not only in our cycles, but across the ocean as well. The lady on the phone, Nino Anna Samharadze, who answers all your mails and organizes everything that needs to be organized. The best dancer in our cycle, the photographer Wolfgang Zurborn, a jack of all trades, Without him, we wouldn't have our cologne Tbilisi connections. The networker and curator, that's me, trying to connect everything, people, cultures, photographers and audience. A big part of the festival is our indispensable audience, for the most part local, not only the educated middle class and family, but also everyone else. People from different walks of life, neighbors from the neighborhood, their friends and children. All our exhibitions are free of charge. There is no such thing as a festival pass. There will be different locations, from big museums to old factories, places in transition. What else is called God to us besides photography and family? It is a great exchange between the local and international audience, between generations, between professionals and ambitious amateurs. It also means getting to know Georgian culture, bit by bit, piece by piece, where old meets new, the special symbiosis of the Orient and Occident. How did it all start? Back in the winter of 2010, during a business trip to Georgia, I met Beso Heindrava, Kolga's founder. We meet in his office in Tbilisi History Museum, also called Karvasla, old Karvansaray from 19th century. Crammed with Kolga's catalogues and posters. It was like a love at first sight. I knew Kolga, the only photo contest in Georgia for many years, but that Beso was behind it was still unknown to me because he never pushed himself in the foreground and even in the Kolka catalogs never gave his full name 
but only BK for Beso Chaindrava. More than that would be redundant. Everyone knew him. But I had been in Germany since 1996 and at that time I had hardly any contact with Georgian photo scene. And so it happened. I was sitting in Bezos' office looking at one Koga catalog after the other. Some of them were very good shots, but they seemed to be thrown together. There was no real sequence, no concept, no coherence. All these catalogs were collections of single photographs, for the most part by Georgian photographers. There was no international touch. So we decided then that we would like to work together and to try to restrict our Kolga and as a first step present the competition outside the border of Georgia. We needed a professional support because at that time, 10 years ago, there was hardly any scene with an international experience in terms of photography in Georgia. So when I returned to Germany, I approached the photographer Wolfgang Zurborn and the curator Tina Schellhorn. I had already known the, both of them for their Galerie Lichtblick, which was famous in and outside Cologne. Our interaction and consultations getting more and more intense and Tina and Wolfgang became the first German Kolga jurors in 2011 and personally attended the award ceremony of Kolga Tbilisi in Georgia. For them it was also like love at first sight and now it has been 10 years, our team has grown, our program has become bigger and more diverse. Koga is now not only a photo contest but also a photo festival with exhibitions, workshops, lectures and portfolio reviews. More and more visitors from outside Georgia come to our opening week where there is a special atmosphere, strolling from one opening to another, tasting the delicious Georgian cuisine in between and afterwards, enjoying the sunny spring weather in Tbilisi. Many exhibition halls are not far away from each other. On our way, you get to meet other festival participants and local visitors. You get to see different quarters of the city and you often have a good opportunity to stop to take pictures. It all sounds very harmonious now and maybe even romantic, yes, but it is uh, one side of our festival. And the other side, the difficulties, where, where should I start? Small budget, uncertain situation regarding funding which depends on the political situation in Georgia, where ministers frequently change. Political and economical situation in the country is partly responsible for this as well, as almost non-existing institutional and private collectors. Since we, the whole team, are volunteers and have to earn our money elsewhere, we can't devote the time and attention that we would like to invest to the festival. To this fact, there are different expectations and wishes in the team. For some team members, it might as well as it is. I personally would like to see more of a professional approach. Permanent positions for the so-called main team members, even part-time, a more strict way of working, more focus on content and dealing with current social political issues, a greater focus on education, theoretical and practical workshops and seminars for festival participants, especially for locals who don't have as many opportunities to pursue their photographic education on site. Despite the fact that photography in Georgia, like everywhere else, is very popular, especially among the young generation, there are still few opportunities to study photography and get a comprehensive education. 
Although some private schools offer photography courses, they are mostly limited in terms of technology and content. As professional training and possibilities, for example, in Germany, does not exist yet, there is a lack of photo lobby in the educational policy. Despite the long tradition of photography in Georgia, dating from the 19th century, there is a lack of adequate research and reception. I would also like to see more international exchange and not only one-sided. In the last 10 years, we have invited great international guests to visit our festival in Georgia. However, these visits have not yet been reciprocated. I would like to see the participation of the photographers and generally photo creators from Georgia in the international photo scene abroad. By this, I mean more involvement in exhibitions here, attendance in panel discussions and festivals. The mutual exchange not only inspires the imagination and creativity, but also creates more equality, solidarity and understanding among each other. Therefore, I am all the more grateful for this great opportunity to introduce you to our festival and thus to our country and culture. Thank you very much for your attention.